Hey guys, it's Crypto Marie. She does it all. A little bit of everything. The latest on Aaron Rodgers trading to the Packers. This is Jets finally land Aaron Rodgers and trade with Packers. So let's see what's going on. After weeks of posturing on both sides, the Jets and Green Bay Packers on Monday completed the trade that sends four times NFL MVP quarterback Aaron Rodgers to New York. Have fun in New York, my friend. ESPN first reported the Jets will receive Rodgers the number 15 overall pick and a fifth round pick in 2023. The Packers will get the number 13 overall pick, a second round pick, and a sixth round pick this year, and a con conditional 2024 second round pick that becomes a first rounder if Rodgers plays 65% of the plays during the upcoming season. Okay. All right. Jets legend Joe Nema has given Rodgers his blessing to... Let's see. Let's see. Hold on, guys. Hold on. To wear his retired number 12 jersey, but... It is believed Rogers will wear number eight, the number he wore in college at California. The Jets now have a future Hall of, Hall of Famer at quarterback. And the fans are already talking about the Super Bowl. Oh, okay. Okay, I see. The team and their supporters had been waiting on span on pens and needles for the past few weeks. So let's see. The Jets bra flew out to Malibu several weeks ago for a recruiting visit with Rogers, and whatever they said about playing in New York worked as Rogers announced on the Pat McCarthy show on YouTube on March 15 his intention to play for the Jets in 2023. So you see, YouTube is going to be the next thing on the news he mentioned that on a youtube show so don't take us for granted we can bring you the latest we can bring you the best news before the cable tv bring you the latest so give us some respect all we ask for is to subscribe just subscribe and we'll bring you the latest okay <laughs> it took a lot longer than many expected for the jets and park Parkers to work out the trade, but on Monday it came to fruition. Rogers 39 had played his entire 18 year career in Green Bay, throwing 475 touchdowns in just 105 interceptions, over 5,000 completions of over 59,000 career passing yards. To put this into perspective, Rogers has had 10 seasons of 4,000 passing yards or more he's good you know as you get older things change but based on what i have read so far he was good hopefully he can give them at least half of how good he used to be okay the jets have had one nama in 1967 okay guys forgive me the children are playing outside they're making a lot of noise okay uh, the 2022 was considered a down year by his lofty standards. Rogers still threw for 3,695 yards, 26 TDS, and 12 interceptions with a 91.1 weighting. That's what I just said. As you get older, things slow down. So do not expect him to take you to the Super Bowl if he doesn't have somebody around him to help him. You know, he needs a LeBron James, he needs a Dwayne Way, he needs a Shaquille O'Neal to bring it home. By himself, he cannot do it, okay? The Jets have had, and of course, I know LeBron and Shaquille and Dwayne Way are in a basketball team. What I am saying is he needs somebody like those guys in his corner to make it to the next level, okay? I'm not dumb. I've watched the game before. I have a little idea what's going on, okay? The Jets have had only one quarterback throw for at least that many yards in the last eight seasons. Ryan Fitzpatrick with 3,905 in 2015 and only three totals since 1985. 
Uh, the trait is reminiscent of the Jets acquisition of another Packers legend, Brett Fave. Back in 2008, Fave played one season for the Jets, but he got hurt after an 8 three start and they went on to miss the playoff wow jets fans obviously are hoping for a much different outcome this time around the guy is 39 yeah don't put all your hope on him being 39 is not the same of being 20 or 25 or 30 take it easy on the men all right Rodgers led the packers to the super bowl championship during the 2000 the 2010 season he never got them back to the big game, but they did make it to the NFC Championship game for traditional times. Okay. He's not no Tom Brady now. He's 39. He's going to give you something, but don't expect too much from the guy, okay? The Jets finished 7-10 in 2022 and have missed the playoff 12 straight years. The longest current futility streak in the nfl due in large part to poor quarterback play however new york is known around the nfl for having an impressive defense and several skilled players on offense making a trade for a player of rogers caliber more of necessity Rodgers signed a three-year contract for slightly more than $150 million in March of 2022. He is on a fully guaranteed $59.5 million in 2023. But all, hmm, but all but $1.2 million comes in the form of a signing bonus that will be paid before the start of the regular season. So I see why Lamar Jackson asking why he's asking. He's young, he's active, he's still got his game on. They would not give him 150 to 200 million, but we have this guy is 39, not as fast as Lamar, but giving 150 million. This is not right, yeah. You have to play it fair. I see why. As far as the salary cap goes, Rogers' deal does not put a big strain on the Jets because. The bonus money is prorated. He counts just 15.8 million against the cap in 2023 and 32.5 million in 2024. They're giving him so much money. Don't even know how well he's going to play. This is ridiculous. The Jets clearly made acquiring Rogers their top priority this offseason. Duh, they met with free agent quarterback Derek Carr. They reportedly never made him an offer. Of course not. Carr then agreed to sign a four-year for $150 million contract with the New Orleans Saints. And the Jets shifted the pursuit of Rodgers into high gear. I think they put in too much in that Roger guy. He's 39. He's not 21. And uh, you let opportunities go. It's people that could actually give you a better revenue. You turn your back on them just to focus on that Roger guy. You cannot think this guy by himself going to take you to the Super Bowl. It doesn't make sense. The acquisition of Rodgers means Zach Wilson, the number two overall pick in the 2021 draft, will be we we um, relegated. To the bench for the time being, Wilson still have two years remaining on his four-year $35 million contract. The Jets have said reportedly their goal is to groom Wilson and to become an, a legitimate starter, something that failed to happen during his first two seasons. Hmm, I wonder why. To say Rodgers knows New Jets offensive coordinator Nathaniel Hackett's system is an understatement. The two worked together in Green Bay from 2019 to 2021, during which time Rodgers threw for 12,416 yards, 111 TDs, and just 13 interceptions, and won two of his MVP award. There was a lot of reason why the Jets are attractive, Rogers said during his appearance on the Pat McCarthy show. But there is one coach that has meant as much to me as any 
coach I've ever had. And he happens to be the coordinator there. Okay. In anticipation of landing Rodgers, the Jets went on and bifted up the offense signing free agent wide receiver Alain Lazard and Mikhail Hartman. They already busted breakout star wide receiver Garrett Wilson, 83 receptions and 1,103 yards in 2022 and have young stud running back Bruce Hall and tight ends Tyler Collins and CJ Uzoma among others. Okay, so they should be okay. Due to the countless injuries, a big concern for the Jets going into the offseason was the offensive line. However, they got a boost earlier this offseason off when it was reported that veteran tr- Taco Duane Brown, Duane Brown, a five-time pro bowler, will return for his 17th season despite suffering shoulder injury last season that required surgery. New York will also benefit from the return of versatile taco slash guard Elijah Vera Tucker, who missed most of last season after suffering a tricep tear. Another projected starter is veteran guard Larkin Tomlinson and the Jets expect off injury, but okay. and the Jets expect off injured, but highly talented Taco Mackey Bacon to be ready to go come training camp. Plus. The Jets figure to be players in the draft for offensive line help. All of that should come as encouraging news to Rodgers who has benefited from excellent protection throughout his career. Okay, my take on that. Good luck to them all. Don't expect too too much from the man. The man at the end of the day is 39. He's not 20. And um, you're giving him a lot of money. Hopefully, he can um, perform, you know. And uh, good luck to everyone. Subscribe. Let me know how you feel. Bye.